We're covering the breaking news that in the first criminal trial uh, featuring Donald J. Trump as the defendant, the first ever criminal trial of an American ex-president, the judge, Judge Juan Marchand, has just announced inside that courtroom that the jury has been selected. They have been sworn in. Tomorrow, this process does continue because six, a number that Andrew Weissman tells us is a large number of alternates, six alternates will be selected. And all of the jurors, the ones that were sworn in today, as well as the alternates that are likely selected tomorrow, will hear all of the facts and all of the evidence in this case, which could start as early as Monday. Andrew Weissman. So um, just in addition, one of the alternates has been selected. So there are five more that will be selected tomorrow. Both sides under state law are given two peremptories uh, for each alternate that they have to use for that person. So when we get to alternate two, a proposed juror will come on and each side will have the opportunity to exercise two peremptories and then you're done. Then that the next person gets chosen as, as number two. And that goes on until you have the six alternates. And as Sue said, it is possible overnight you could lose some of the initial 12, in which case, like, alternate one would move into one of the juror seats. Um, but it does appear um, that there will almost certainly be a full jury of the 12 jurors and the alternates by the end of the day tomorrow, if not sooner. And that would mean openings on Monday. So a relatively quick pace um, for Judge Marchand in moving this case along. Um, I want to read... Uh something Ian tweeted yesterday for everybody to, to mull as this process really um, gets real for everybody, including Donald Trump. Quote, there isn't another defendant in the country who could thumb their nose at pretrial conditions of release the way Donald Trump has and remain walking free. Not one. Trump is being given special treatment that no one else would get. If you'd done what Trump's done, you'd be in jail. Ian, it just seems like another thing to keep front of mind, that the conduct is not normal. We should never normalize it. And if I did it or you did it, we'd be in jail. Well, and the irony here, of course, is that his argument is he is being singled out for special negative treatment, right? He's saying he is the victim of a witch hunt when the reality is he is actually being singled out, as was pointed out in the in the previous panel, for special treatment and, and is being given so much running room that not only is that running room posing a threat to the integrity of this process, but what I really fear is it's posing a threat to the physical safety of the various actors in the courtroom. And to your point and your experience and your history, it is exactly what he does. And so far, no force, not the presidency, not serving as the commander in chief, not being charged with 88 felonies. No force has changed the way he functions. You know, we've talked <clears throat> we talked about this in the past, but, you know, he rolls unusually because he's had an unusual amount of luck. You know, as a, as a young man, he was surrounded and insulated by money. And then he became a TV celebrity and he enjoyed this, the insulation that celebrity provided him. Then he became president. And now he's got the enormous legal insulation that comes with that office. And now as an ex-president, he's using money and lawyers and his own media presence to continue to thumb his nose at the system. You know, and one of the things that Ian said about the extent to which trust broadly defined is being degraded now mm -hmm. because of Trump. I think we have to really think about what that means for the long-term health of the country, because Trumpism will outlast Donald Trump. Even if Donald Trump loses in November, he's, he's, he's paved this path to power mm -hmm. for the GOP and others who aspire to role like him that is built on degrading everyone's trust in any other institution or any other figure than him um, and, and to really wage a culture war not discuss policy, not discuss the makeup of the court or mm -hmm. foreign policy, yeah. and, and to really appeal to people's worst instincts. And, and we're going to live with that, whether we like it or not, for a very, very long time. And that's another reason why he is such a damaging and dangerous um, and destructive person. Hey everyone, MSNBC has a new and improved app. You'll get real-time alerts and analysis, live blogs, in-depth essays, video highlights, and the best 2024 election coverage. Download the new MSNBC app. Here's how to do it. You tap on the App Store on your phone, you hit search on the bottom right corner, you type in MSNBC, you click on the MSNBC app, you click on get or the cloud icon and enjoy it.